Welcome to Anime Out of Context, a comedy review show hosted by a basement dweller who grew up scrounging terrible fan subs on sketchy websites prior to the convenience of modern streaming, alongside a willfully ignorant soul whose only knowledge of anime comes from the shows forced upon him here. This show will contain spoilers, incorrect information, and copious amounts of adult language. Our hosts are not experts on any topic, and everything they say should be taken with a grain of salt. Thank you for listening, and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Anime Out of Context, the show where I attempt to explain the sometimes weird, sometimes wonderful, but always hilarious world of anime. And I welcome all the boils and ghouls to this lovely Halloween episode. Ha 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 ha, it's our favorite time of year, Remington. And don't let our energy at the beginning fool you, we are both very dead. <laughs> yeah, it, it's been um, a heck of a month. Uh, for those who don't know, Sean and I, we love, we love, we love Halloween, and we die in October for the podcast because we are working nearly nonstop at a haunted house, and that's a lot of work, um, so we're just doing, uh, on top of just everything else, uh, but, but we're not gonna let that stop us here, okay? We, we've had an interesting month, to say the least, but now, here we are, we're finally at Halloween, we're going to make the most of it. And I figured, Remington, the best way to make the most of it was to actually do an, a horror anime for once. Oh, dude, thank God. All right, all right. And wait, okay, Sean, Sean, yes, Sean. Yes, yes, yes. We, we, we've been here before. All we right? have. We've been here multiple times. A couple times, yeah. And the question on every Halloween episode, it is, is it a genuine, like, it's in the genre of horror, or is it horror for Remington, fuck me, at all times. Now, we, we've, we've had both, and we've even had mixes of the two, um, but there's one answer that I'm strongly preferring here. Wow, Ram, I, I did not realize you were such a masochist and you enjoyed suffering that much. No, I mean, if that's what you want, no, I can switch no, it up right no, now. No, we can go no, into no, something. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, get the fuck out of here. Give me something spooky, something to get in the mood. Don't ruin... The, the Halloween spirit, Sean. <laughs> uh, I'll tell well, you I what mean... right now. I'll tell you right now. If you try any moment uh, to to show me something that's like some sister fucking nonsense, then then I I am I am going. We're then this is gonna be a scary godmother episode. <laughs> That's what no. this is going to fucking become. Absolutely not, Remington. I if, fucking if, refuse. If, there is, if, if anything in your description alludes to incest, <laughs> Scary Godmother episode activated, April Fool's. Oh, I have my finger God. on the trigger. You've got... <laughs> You've set and declared your trap card, and I am terrified to activate it. That is genuinely the scariest thing you could have brought into the table, and I, I am quaking in my boots if I were wearing boots, because as we all know, podcasters don't wear anything below the waist when they record. It, 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 it's true, it's true. I mean, John, uh, it, it's not like, it's a fine show. It's a fine show. Patently uh, disagree. Godman. Patently disagree. Listen, some people can critique it, but in in my opinion... I think it is some of of the best show we've ever seen in the world. Remington, you can't you couldn't even convince someone as you, gullible as your girlfriend that was the truth. You have sure you may want to watch The Godfather, but I, what about the scary godmother? The great sequel? <laughs> the great sequel? <laughs> Don Corleone and Scary Godmother. What a combination. <laughs> Scary Godmother. In what Benjamin James 49015 says, was, well, something. <laughs> <laughs> the most stellar review of the barely animated show based on a mediocre children's oh. book, Scary Godmother. All right, all right. But I, I, uh, hopefully I won't have to pull that trigger. So without further ado, Sean, what the fuck are we doing? Uh, so you won't have to pull that trigger because this is genuinely considered a horror anime. Oh, thank God. Yes. Uh, I, I'm looking at I'm looking at my notes and at the mile page as well, and it currently says right there under the genre, uh, horror, mystery, supernatural, suspense. Okay, okay. 
I, 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 I'm interested. Yeah, no, there's You've no caught my attention. Tag. There's no romance tag. There's nothing. There's nothing soft or gooey in this one, except for a possibly the soft and gooeyness of blood and guts. Okay, uh, all right. Depends. Uh, it, you're getting it my, you're getting my hopes up. You're getting my hopes up right now. Yeah. Don't, don't, yeah. don't crush my dreams. You have, you have in my hands my, my bloody beating heart. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have that? I should be holding that. That's dangerous. That's unsanitary. I should put that back. <laughs> well, look, look, we'll see how the episode goes. <laughs> if it fails, are you just gonna die in my hands? Yes. My Christ, Remington. Sean, I don't, I don't want to frighten you, but if I dislike this anime. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. That was not part of the deal. The deal was it wasn't supposed to be etchy incest bullshit and you wouldn't make me watch Carrie Godmother. I didn't realize your fucking life was coming into question. My Christ, Remington. Well, it, you know, I, I, I ran into my own little slasher serial killer the other day. They were like, well, I want to play a game. And I was like, not really. And then I woke up and... Uh, now my heart is in your hands. So let, let, what, what are we doing this week, Sean? <laughs> Christ on a butt. Well, Remington, the anime we're going to be watching today is simply called Another. D titillating. Yeah, no, nice, easy, si simple, straightforward title, Another. Uh, which, which is definitely raises a not question. Yeah. Another what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, that's that's the, that's the trick of it there, Rem. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Oh, of course. Of yeah, course. No. I don't want to delve into spoiler territory uh, with it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, okay. All right, all right. Nah, just uh, for the sake of brevity, the show's called Another. Uh, <laughs> okay. Will that make it confusing to talk about? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Uh, but what, what is it about? Well, as are the case with most anime, especially a lot of horror anime I've come to realize, is it is about a, uh, a couple of kids in... in in uh in school you know as as all these things start all right listen sean sean yes yes you're talking about a horror anime where you got a bunch of kids in school last week while not an anime it was talking about a game with a similar construction <laughs> i swear to god sean yeah don't you <laughs> If you are about to tell me we're watching Danganronpa the anime, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I mean, look, just because I happen to have that tab open at the moment, <laughs> and it does in fact have, you know, horror and suspense underneath, that does not mean that is what we're doing. I mean, I've already told you the title of the anime, Remington. How could I possibly pull that kind of bamboozle? What about all the other fans out there? Would it really be as something as simple as me saying that, oh, yeah, we're doing another Danganronpa episode? Oh, I, okay, okay, okay. I, 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 think, I think at this point you're just indulging yourself in, in my pain. I, I don't, I don't think it, it can't be. No, okay, okay, you're just fucking with me. All right, okay. Am I? Kids in school, continue. <laughs> well... Continue, I am fucking fucker. with you, Remy. Oh, okay, I yes, am fucking good. with you. Don't worry. Yes, good. Uh, the show is actually called Another. Uh, okay. Okay. And it 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 is the story of a couple kids dealing with a very strange supernatural situation in their uh, local middle school. Uh, okay. And it's all oddly from we the... have we have also seen this twice. Yes. <laughs> like yeah, pretty we, common. Like all right. Okay. So so yeah. No. Like so. There, as far is there as like. like is it is it where like a bunch of weird stuff is happening, or like some weird stuff is happening that all seems heavily related? So it's kind of it's kind of a darkness of the past comes forth into the present type of story. Okay. So the general prince, uh, premise of another Remington is it's about a couple. It's about a young a young fifteen year old fella transferring to the school of uh, for the first time. Uh, from out of town and uh, interacting with his classmates and the kind of weird, strange environment. Uh, as it is usually the case when you transfer into a school for the first time, if you've ever had that experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing that makes this interesting is that uh, in 1972, so 26, before, uh, 26 years before our story takes place, a very popular uh, school, uh, excuse me, a very popular student 
uh, tragically dies in the school. Okay, all right. And 26 years later, our new our new uh, student comes to the school, and a bunch of strange things start happening around the school building, and particularly revolving around a young girl who wears an eye patch in his class. All right, okay. Um, behind the eye patch is there some evil eye Chunibio shit. Look, Remington, I'm not here to talk to you <laughs> about, you know, anime we've covered way, way long ago. Uh, this is, in fact, not Love Chunibyo and Other Delusions. <laughs> uh, but you might, you might be, uh, you might recognize some similarities oh, okay. in character yeah, design. Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> Just a little copy paste here. All right. Well, I mean, one came out before the other, you know. That's just kind of the way these things go. Uh, the Chunibyo eye patch thing is a a common trope. It's either it's either like an evil eye or a cursed hand. That's usually the way it goes. But hey, uh, maybe maybe just maybe in this anime, it's actually a plot point and not like a a middle school kid uh, trying to get all the attention that they want. All right, so so there there's the girl with the the eye patch. Yeah, and it's just the story of the strange phenomenon happening around this school, and uh, uh, our young uh, protagonist uh, trying to get to know her, even though everybody else seems to be avoiding her and treating her like she doesn't exist. Okay, uh, because she's a ghost, and we're going sixth sense on this son of a bitch. <laughs> yes, anime sixth sense. That's exactly what I would bring to this podcast, Remington. Because you know how much I love Shyamalan. I think you are couching in a joke the fact that I fucking nailed it. Let's do this shit. I want to see that I'm right. (laughs) Okay, fine. Then let's just jump into it, Ren. There's not a whole (laughs) lot of prep I can do for you aside from the fact that there's going to be some child death. And I hope you're ready. And without further ado, Rem, let's jump straight into another and, and then and then some like creepy spooky like laugh that that that, that transitions us into part two sounds good to me <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we are back after watching five whole episodes of the 2012 dark spooky anime for our halloween special simply known as another and ram are you feeling the spookiness yet uh yeah it's a, it was actually it was actually nice and and spooky and thematic which i i appreciated whoa R- really ram yeah 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 like i i wanted something spooky we we got something spooky and mysterious yeah wow okay cool i I was worried that you were going to find some weird random niche uh, thing to dissect and pick apart that would make the fans of the show uh, uh, intrinsically upset. Or maybe you'd be a be, uh, little on the upset side thinking, oh, this isn't spooky enough. There is only like one murder I've seen so far type of feeling. Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Sean. Uh, we- we've not covered many properly spooky anime. So when I'm given spooky... I will accept Spooky. After all, I, I remember when we watched, uh, what was the not great quality, but quite spooky anime? That, that would probably be Corpse, Corpse Party. Party. Yeah. Yeah, Corpse Party, which wasn't great, but it was spooky. And thus I liked it. <laughs> um, Glad to see that the bar was set so low. <laughs> But this is is probably it seems higher quality than Corpse Party. I will give it that. What uh, you mean? This doesn't seem like a, a rushed adaptation of a <laughs> of a RPG maker game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Precisely. That is exactly what I mean. Yeah. Because yes. funnily enough, Ram, this might surprise you, and you'll know why it'll surprise you as soon as I tell you. But this is actually based on a light novel. Oh wow! I mean, with with the title. Yeah. You know. the title alone. It's a single word. That's wild. It's crazy. Yeah. So, Rem, what are your thoughts on another? It's a, a, it scratched that spooky itch that you've been hiding behind your eye this whole time. So I'm curious to see what you thought of the five episodes that we watched. All right. Well, let me just extract my eyeball to get to that itch. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so we, we, we start out with hearing about a story of um, a girl 
Misaki? Misaki? Uh, yes, uh, Misaki. Uh, Misaki. Uh, who, who died, and we see what we presume to be, uh, maybe it's a ghost of her, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, in the modern day. We have, uh, uh, the main character, uh, fuck. Uh, I don't... His name is, uh, Sa- uh Saka... Hmm. Saka B- ah, it, it's his, got first, a lot of... his first name is a mess. Well, it's technically Every his Every time surname. I read it, I was like, what? I, I think it's Koichi? Uh, uh, Koichi is his first name. Uh, his last name I always stumble over, but it's uh, Saka Kibara. Yeah, fuck Kibara. his last name. His last name's an abomination. Yeah, Saka Kibara, uh, so we're... and it's a Koichi. We can just call him Koichi. That's fine. It's easier for our American tongues. Yes. Uh, Koichi wakes up in a hospital due to a collapsed lung. You know, no biggie. It's fine. Um, I'm just impressed that they felt the need to actually tell us why he was in the hospital. Because a lot of times, it's true, a lot of times, it's, it's like, ah, oh, he's in the hospital. Oh, what for? Uh, a thing. <laughs> well, and what I like is he'll later have like a call with his dad, which also goes against a few tropes. Like his dad's like, oh yeah, I had a couple collapsed lungs, might be genetic, but you should be done with them now. His dad's over in India and just like super supportive and chill as fuck. Yeah. Which like. Like, the dad is away, and the mom is dead, and the dad is away, but the dad isn't, like, brooding or mourning. The dad is, is just like, hey, son, proud of you. You got this. And it's like, oh, that's that's so nice and unusual. Especially in a horror-themed show. Yeah, it's wild. Um, all right, so, so Koichi wakes up, and uh, there's some classmates that visit him, um, and they're all like, hey, we're your classmates. Here's some notes. See you in May, or whatever the fuck. Um, a- after that... Uh, th- there's a, a mild, like, interrogation with, with the, the students have with him, uh, being like, hey, who the fuck are you? But, you know, like, trying to be polite. Mm-hmm. A little little bit later that night, Koichi gets on an elevator in, in the hospital. He's going down, and there's a strange girl on there with him, going all the way to, to the basement, uh, even the sub-basement, where the morgue is. And she's like, I need to talk to someone, my, like, my other half, or something like that. And it's like, oh man, is this like her body to her spirit? Who knows? Spooky. Um, so it's it's nice and mysterious. And we learned that that girl, her name is Mei Mizaki, right? Uh, so it's like, oh shit, is she a dead girl? Uh, he goes, he ends up going to school, chats with a couple of the students, which you know, it, it's like super pleasant. The students very welcoming, very welcoming, very cheerful. Uh, he sits out of gym class. Because, you know, he just got out for a collapsed lung with a student who has some heart problems. Um, he asks around about Misaki, and everyone's like... <laughs> exactly in that way, uh, too. It was very interesting to watch them do, like, a very <laughs> gruff uh, um, Richard Nixon impression every time they get asked a question. <laughs> just just like, hey, so so what's up with, with May? I am not a... Um... Uh, what, what was that one? <laughs> yeah, she is definitely not real. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, nobody is acknowledging May's existence. Is that because she's a ghost? Towards the end of the first episode, and especially the second episode, I started predicting, like, so either, my, my two possibilities. Right. Because I was like, it's not what it seems. Right. Right. I do not accept that she is a ghost, or if she is, that she's the only ghost. Either. Everyone slash everyone else is a ghost. Or she is a real person who now they are ignoring in a sort of mirror where before there was a dead girl who all of them quote unquote saw, right? Mm. Now there is a real girl who all of them don't see or at least behave as if they do not see, right? So a little little bit of a an inverted scenario there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into because we, we do learn. What's up? So we'll get into which conclusion it is, if any. Uh, but yeah, so some neat just suspense and mystery building up here. Uh, Koichi finds her on the roof and is like, Hey, um, Misagi, what, what you drawing? As, asks a, a little bit about her. She's like, you shouldn't talk with me. That's a bad idea. Uh, and, and then uh, he goes home and he like sees her on the way home. And it's all just... It's a nice establishing episode. It establishes a mysterious little ghost story. There were perhaps, like, too many characters very quickly introduced in the first episode, many of which I still, we haven't seen really much more other than in the background. Which is, yeah, no, that's just the way it's going. It's be. not the worst thing. Uh, it's not the worst thing. And I think generally how we've been meeting the characters 
from this point forward is actually really natural and totally works. Uh, but just in the first episode, s slight pacing issues. Not a big deal. Also, they own a bird and the bird, uh, Koichi's bird, Ray, is great. Yeah, no, I love the, bird the bird is great. And also, I, I think that there's some little Edgar Allan Poe action going on with the bird. We'll discuss that later. Uh, all right, so that's episode one. Real solid start. I'm down. I, I am interested in the ghost story, in the overarching mystery. We uh, we go with episode two. We start off, um, there's a little chat with Misaki talking about how stuff has begun or whatever. Uh, then we get to art class. Uh, one kid is drawing Lemon Scream, which is a lemon in the style of Scream. Uh, like The Scream, the famous painting. Not to be confused with the horror movie, though. You know, that would also be a cool lemon, I am sure. <laughs> Ghost face lemon. Yeah, yeah. Coming soon but, to uh, Dead by know, Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> but I like Lemon Scream. It's really silly, but also it was a cool little piece of art, and I'm totally down for it. Um, we meet the weird librarian. Um, Koichi starts talking with, uh, what, what is it, his aunt or something? Uh, yes, yes. Sister? Yeah. I think it's his aunt. Yes. Because I think they comment about, like, the mom being the sister, yes, too. Yes, it's his aunt, yeah. if I recall correctly. All right, cool. Uh, it t t talks with his aunt and also uh, talks with a nurse uh, from the hospital. And he's like, hey, do you know anything about this girl who might have died? And she's like, oh, let me just do some research. Because, uh, you know, I'm just saying that if, if this was American, it'd be a HIPAA violation for well, sure. Well, it's also the uh, 90s in Japan, so it's like... <laughs> they didn't have privacy then. Yeah, no. That didn't exist. The 90s were a dark, strange time where things were just trying to get figured out. And for those of you who are like, oh, but the 90s ended in uh, 2000. It's not true. The 90s kept going for a good while after <laughs> the 90s supposedly <laughs> ended. Uh, so uh, Koichi, he's later like following Misaki uh, home, home from school. Uh, he loses her, but he finds this mysterious place called Studio M. Um, and... Uh, he, before entering, he gets a call from the nurse that's like, hey, the, uh, a girl recently died. Her name was like Masaki or something. It's like, ooh, spooky. Is it a ghost? Um, which, which already at this point, I was like, I'm pretty sure that she's not the ghost. Uh, that, that's where I was at. I was like, it's too blatant. It's too blatant. They're gonna, they're gonna shake things up. Uh, anyway, S Studio M, it ends up being sort of this like doll museum. Just this creepy ass doll museum with a creepy granny. And a creepy basement with even more creepy dolls. Um, it's delightful. <laughs> also, the granny. Uh, we'll, we'll see her again, and she just repeats the exact same stuff. Granny's just an automaton. She is just little little robot granny. That's all she's there for. We uh, should, it, it's delightfully uncanny. We should probably clarify that uh, me and Rem are not super into dolls, but we are into super creepy settings. <laughs> it's true. Though, I'll, I will say, like... Some really high class doll houses. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit about the dolls, but really high class doll houses. Oh, I can fuck with that. Yeah, it's so cool. The intricate detail, but small. Oh yeah, no, like it's very fascinating what people can do in miniature. Uh, there, there is. Uh, and and this is this is a recommendation. Um, there is a museum of uh of miniatures. Uh, I want to say, is it in, like, Kansas City or something? One sec. <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy. I've never been. You're the I'm one Google. who's been. All right. All right. It's the National Museum of Toys and Miniatures in Kansas City. And half of it is a museum of toys, which is real cool. But the other half, which is the Museum of Miniatures, is so much cooler. Holy shit. It's so intricately detailed. It's genuinely insane. Anyway, that's just a recommendation if you're stuck in Kansas City. for I, I want to emphasize, it's the side of Kansas City that's in Missouri. Um, that's not confusing. Because <laughs> there's nothing good, nothing in Kansas. Nothing exists in Kansas. Anything good in Kansas City is in the Missouri side. Yeah. There's a reason the most famous thing from Kansas uh, is a movie from, you know, the 30s. Uh, of, of getting the fuck out. Get uh, away uh, from all right. Kansas. Sorry, Kansas. <laughs> love you, Kansas. Uh. Uh, and by, by I love you, Kansas... I mean, good luck, Kansas. Um, they can't hear it over the tornado anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, Koichi's in the creepy basement with a bunch of creepy dolls. And then uh, Mei Mis Misaki, uh, we'll just call her Mei since there's some like other Misaki stuff going on. So Mei shows up and is like, hey, want to see what's under 
my eye patch, and then the episode ends before we see. Ooh, cliffhanger. Uh, and you know, I, I genuinely didn't expect, I, I didn't know what to expect for what was behind it, but also I did not guess correctly what was behind the eye patch. Go ahead, if you're playing at home, guess what's behind the eye patch. My question is, is what did you think was behind the eye patch? Um, I thought, I thought it was going to be a psych out and it was, was maybe, I, it was either going to be bloody and gory and fucked up or it was going to be that, but then not. Okay, so like a weird psychological horror shock factor thing. Yeah, yeah, I thought I thought that that was probably gonna be it, but no, we we see that in actuality, uh, she has a doll's eye in there, a little fake doll's eye, um, that that she keeps hidden. Which I'm like, if you keep it hidden, like, is there is there a point? Like, if you buy a glass eye or something. Well, I mean, if you're self conscious about it, like you know. Well, but if you're self conscious, why do you why do you put the eye in? Well, because I imagine it's probably uncomfortable just having the socket open to air. Maybe, maybe. Like I, like if I was missing a bit, I would want a bit to cover the bit I was missing. You know what I mean? You know what? If if, if anybody's out there with a glass eye, yay, teach us. Email us and at anime out of context, anime out of context at gmail dot com. Uh, but keep your umbrellas to yourself, for the love of God. It's true. It's true. Um. So, uh, there's some nice talk about hollow void sucking the energy and the life out of you, just like all the dolls. Um, we learned that the maker of the dolls is a woman named Kirika. Uh, Koichi is like, ah, oh, shit, is this bitch a ghost? This bitch might be a ghost. Uh, and May, May tells the story of 26 years ago, uh, essentially what Sean covered in the intro. Uh, a popular girl died, and then everyone was like, oh, but she's not dead. We see her, and it's spooky. <laughs> um, aren't you glad that, uh, I... I gave you that so you could hear it at least two other times in the show itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Uh, so, uh, Koichi, we, we go to school a little bit. Uh, he walks home with a girl, Sakuragi, which was one of, like, the welcoming crew. Just just a nice, cheerful, quieter girl. Um, he asks, he's like, hey, uh, but what what about Mei, though? What, what's up with her? And, like, S Sakuragi just shuts the fuck down. Um... And and he asks like a few others, and they all shut the fuck down. And it's just like, listen here, you son of a bitch. Um, and I will say it's a little awkward because we learn that generally the the he, nobody wants him to acknowledge the possible existence of May, whether she's a ghost or not, right? Um, no one wants him to acknowledge it because they think shit will go down if he does. But also, none of them tell him that, and like they even acknowledge later, like, oh, we really should have told told him. So they're just all being coy for, like, no reason, and it's... Th that That's sort of dumb. That might be my biggest gripe, is, like, let a brother know! <laughs> to be fair... I get you gotta build suspense and, and drama, but, like, let a brother know. To, to be fair, Ram, this isn't a problem just with this show. This is a problem with a lot of modern horror as well. I agree, and I think it's all trash. You should be able to build suspense with reasonable motivations and with characters handling themselves for the most part, fairly rationally. There are obvious exceptions, as there are with human nature. But, and I even think that for the most part, this show has done well with characters being mostly rational, with this one giant exception that's quite annoying. Uh, nonetheless, uh, he, at one point he sees May on the roof. Uh, he asks his aunt about his mom and, and about May um, and, and about like the incident that happened. He learns that his mom was in class, uh... Three. Was in the class where it all went down, yeah. right? Adding adding more webs to all of it. Uh, more threads to this tangled web we weave. Uh, he sees May on the roof. He goes there, and he gets a call from... He doesn't see her up there when he gets up there, but he gets a call uh, from his jock friend, who's like, hey, stop fucking with shit that doesn't exist. It's, like, nice and mysterious, and, like, what's going on? Ooh. Um... He ends up talking with May again in the nice spooky area, right? And in the nice spooky doll basement, um, which, you know, that's where I meet girls. Yeah. In spooky doll basements. <laughs> that's how you met your current uh, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I was in a spooky supernatural basement, and I was like, oh, I feel like I'm going to die. And then she popped up, and I was like, hey, am I going to die? And she was like, you're cute. And I was like, that didn't answer my question. <laughs> and so now we're dating. <laughs> Ah, young love. <laughs> it works in mysterious ways. <laughs> uh, anyway, 
uh, he's like, hey, May, so a uh, quick question. What the fuck is going on here? And she's like, oh, yeah, they haven't told you. And he's like, yeah, no, not at all. It's bullshit. And she's like, oh, okay. So uh, the, the girl who died in who was in the hospital, that was my cousin, not me. Um, and I, I don't exist, according to everyone else. So that's just a heads up. And he's like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, and then we, we cut to, like, the next day. I say the next day. Something I will say is that it's really hard to keep up with the day-to-day -day timing in this show. Like, I don't know if it's the next day, the next week, the next month, or what. And there's very little indication much of the time at all. So I, I'm going to say next day, but that is conjecture. Um... Uh, He's talking with May at school again, uh, but Sakuragi, the the cute, sweet, quiet girl, she's she's walking out of class and and she sees Koichi and May and she's startled and stunned. So she she runs with her umbrella. Uh, she's going down the stairs, but then she trips down the stairs and she straight up just impales her throat on her umbrella and dies. Just fucking dies. Yeah, and not quickly either. It's no, yeah, it's fucked. Um, just, like, slowly bleeding out from the jugular onto the nice white umbrella. Um, good luck getting those stains out. Um, <laughs> I feel like they have bigger problems at the time, right? <laughs> I feel like they're... There might be bigger problems, but stains are still a problem. <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness, Sean. I don't think there's much of a god in this anime, Rem. <laughs> so, um... So, yeah, she just fucking dies, and that's how we end episode three. Nice and intense. Shit's crazy. Uh, episode four, we learned that uh, the Sakuragi's uh, mom died the same day, and we learn about the curse of, of class three. Apparently, every year, uh, one student slash, at, well, I should say, at least one student and or a, a family member of the student dies each month. Um, and, and so that, that is the curse. And so there's a little bit of a chat with the nurse as well as a lunch with the nurse. Is the nurse like a family friend or something? Uh, just the nurse that he was otherwise, with, uh, while in the hospital. Cool. Then I feel real weird about this scene. As you should. Like, <laughs> it's not overtly like romantic or anything, but I don't know, man. It's weird for a nurse to take out a middle schooler for lunch. Like, yeah. It, don't get me wrong, there have been much worse scenes in anime, and this one, it's not, doesn't even necessarily imply anything. It's just got slightly weird vibes, so it's just, it's not the worst, but I don't love yeah, it. Yeah, it, it's also, you know, a podunk, uh, like, very run-down looking hospital in Japan in the 90s. Uh, so, like, <laughs> you know, the 90s were such a wild time, it's like, it's hard to tell what anything was going on during that time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, he, he, he chats with the nurse and everything. It's like, ah, oh, shit's going crazy. They talk briefly about it. Nurse hasn't heard any of the rumors or about the curse or whatever. So she's like, oh, my brother's in your class. I'll ask him about it. And it's like, cool, awesome, good plan. Um, as Koichi is just walking around town, he runs into another student, a theater student, a the little theater girl. Um, they start talking um, when all of a sudden... Like this giant pane of glass, it's blown over by the wind, and Koichi is barely able to dodge and take her, uh, and, and protect her as well from the glass shattering onto the ground, um, seeming a another indication of this great curse. Um, Koichi, he go he visits the the doll museum again. He chats with May once again, learns a little bit more about hey, what the fuck is going on? Um, and let's see. No, it's uh, it's not in this episode that it's like discovered. I think it's still the next one when it's it's episode five where it's solidified what the fuck is going on. Uh, but once again, at this point, I'm feeling pretty confident. May is not a ghost. Uh, he he goes home. Koichi does, and his aunt has a terrible headache that's going on, and she's real annoyed at the fucking bird. Um, and, and what's interesting with the bird? So the bird. The aunt is named Reiko, right? Mm -hmm. The bird is named Ray. And and the bird only says its own name. So it will say things like, good morning, Ray, good morning. Um, and that's one of its very common phrases. Its other common phrase is, why, Ray, why? Um, which, you know, pretty fucking ominous. So I feel like 
this is when we get into the Edgar Allan Poe. I feel like this is a, a, a mix between good old Nevermore, right? Mm -hmm. But also a little bit Telltale Heart. Because we later learn that Reiko, the aunt, was in class uh, 15 years ago. And 15 years ago is also when, uh, when Koichi was born and when his mom died. So the curse could be involved with that. She could feel very guilty. Um, maybe she even did something specific. Who knows? Um, but either way, I think the bird is is causing her a lot of uh, a, a lot of anxiety uh, and a lot of guilt. Uh, especially always asking why, Ray, why. So that that's my whole thoughts on the bird. I could be totally wrong. Could just be but that's where bird. I'm at. It could just be a cute bird. And goddamn, do I love that bird. Um, but that's that's my guess about. The ominous bird. The bird has seen some shit. All right? The bird knows what's up. I see dead people. <laughs> oh. All right. So uh, there's a little chat about, like, countermeasures because we there's been a student talking about, like, the head of countermeasures and uh, presumably now we know it's it's countermeasures against the, the curse in some way or another. Um, and there generally comes a plan... Before then, uh, Koichi arrives, er, conversation dies down. He's later talking to some of the students. They're still being coy about it. They're still not saying what they want to fucking tell him, which is, hey, don't fucking talk to anybody. Shut the fuck up. You're causing problems. They still don't do that. Um, and then he gets a call, right? And it's from the nurse. And the nurse is like, yeah, I, I talked to my brother who's in class and... He didn't tell me much, but when I mentioned May, he, he suddenly turned, he was like, oh, no, May doesn't exist, you're fucking crazy, and he sort of lost his mind. And at that moment, the nurse, uh, she gets in an elevator, starts crackling a little bit, and then the elevator plummets all the way to the basement, and she fucking dies. Quite gruesomely, I might add. Yeah, yeah. Like, so it was like a Geiger yeah. splatter, quite frankly. So at this point, with everything that's said, like, initially, one of the questions I had was, is there actually a curse, right? Or is this more just superstition? Is this even going a similar way to, like, one of my favorite games, uh, Edith Finch, where the idea, the myth of such a curse is self-perpetuating in a lot of ways? Um, I feel comfortable saying, at this point, that there has to be some supernatural cause. <laughs> um, yeah. With all of the deaths... If they were to say, oh, yeah, it's just a wild coincidence, I would think it to be really, really dumb. Like, they could still, I guess, but that would be the wrong move. Yeah, yeah. So, essentially, Rem, what you're saying is this anime is like Final Destination if Final Destination had a plot. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, yeah. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it decides to explain stuff. Episode 5, uh, some people are investigating the death of the nurse. Um, Koichi finds his mom's graduation photo, talks a little bit to the mysterious librarian who's definitely going to become, like, super duper relevant later. Um, Koichi talks with the investigators briefly. When he comes back, the entire class has disappeared. Uh, they learn that Akazawa, the countermeasures girl, is, is now in charge or something. And, uh, and it's like, oh, what's going on? Koichi's walking home with a couple of his friends who are, who are still being a little bit off with him, not quite talking to him. He's getting a little bit more ignored. Uh, before one of them, the one with the, the heart issue, is like, hey, you know what? Fuck this shit. It's not okay to treat you like this. If you got questions, just let me know. I'll answer anything you want. And then he immediately has a heart attack. So, you know. Yeah. So he's fucking dead too. That's what he gets for eating all that bacon. I know, how dare the fucking dumbass. Uh, <laughs> so Koichi, he goes to class and now he's being ignored. Uh, he's given a note that tells him to ask May about it. He goes to the doll museum, asks May, and May explains everything. Um, she is real. She's real and alive, and so is he, but now they're being ignored. She lives in Studio M. Uh, her mom makes the dolls, and uh, how, how the sort of curse works is that every year... There's an extra student, right? There's a mysterious extra student that seems like everyone else, but they are dead. They are a ghost. They are a spook. Um, and because no one knows why, but because of this extra student, 
every month, uh, at least one student and or family member of student dies. Uh, so until they, they, the students eventually discovered sort of a counterbalance where their countermeasure was to make an ignored student to counterbalance the extra student. And then the deaths stopped. Um, so that is what they're attempting to do with May and Koichi broadly. Um, uh, and, and that, that's sort of what we learned with a lot of still ambiguity left, lots of where it can go. Uh, but I'm, I'm interested. I, I'm, I'm curious. Wow. Um, I'm also concerned because, you know, in anything like this, because there's such a great emphasis on the mystery, whatever mystery needs a good solution at the end right. and a good explanation at the end. Um, and I, I always get nervous when it comes there because it's like, are they just going to fuck it up at the last second, you know? Um, like last week with everything. <laughs> and, yeah, okay, and so, Rem, do you really think Danganronpa was fine until the last second? Uh, okay, when I say last second, I mean just for like every single mystery or twist okay, or anything. Okay, I was about to say, because you're kind of contradicting yourself a little bit, and I don't want people to be like, oh, did he have a change of heart on Danganronpa? <laughs> Dane Rump had interesting ideas, right? Where it's like, what what are the answers to these interesting questions, even if the questions have been bungled to hell? Uh, but then it still fucked up that last bit. Uh, anyway, so I there's those like lingering concerns, but thus far I am invested. I like the mystery. Uh, I like the spook, though. At we we have I've noticed gradually we've gotten a little bit more into the mystery than the spook than when we started. Mm -hmm. Um. So I would like it to get, and that could just be like the past, uh, past episode, you know, mm -hmm. um, you saw had a character who died, but it, it, it wasn't super gruesome by any means. I mean, he just kind of um, went like, my heart and then died. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the good old, oh God, I'm dead. Um, call an ambulance, call an ambulance, <laughs> but actually but for, for me, me this time. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. For, no, it, it, this one is for yeah. me. I need yeah, it. Yeah, badly. Uh, but yeah, so I, 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 I'm tentatively optimistic and interested and i'm digging where the direction it's going yeah and rem the only reason that i didn't make this a bs rule because it's only 12 episodes it's very short and there's not like a second season or anything like that uh the only reason that i didn't you know go the full length and make you watch the full thing which i really should have is because you and i are busy boys it's fucking cowardice dude rem 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 little we're gonna part the kimono a little bit here uh, you did not watch any of the anime until, like, four hours before recording. Hey, 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 hey. I had watched at least one episode. Yeah. By that point. Yeah. And if I had given you 12 episodes, Rem, do you think we would I be recording this? I would have watched it all. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Rem, making your voice higher pitch and elongating the syllables does not automatically inspire confidence in me. Oh, here, let me do the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does that does that inspire confidence? If anything, I'm a little more uncomfortable than anything. Oh fuck! There's no winning with nah, you. Nah, nah, especially not now. But that probably should mean that we'll try and come back to this uh, soon, just to see how it ends. Because you know, I'm sure people will be very curious to see how you feel about it. But overall, you're you're invested. You're curious. You are surprised at the violence in it. You've watched a few kids. I, I'm going to request something, Sean. Normally, one of the things we do is talk about the rating. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. And let me explain why. I think the rating could potentially be a spoiler. Really? Yeah. For example, because I think it's quite well done so far. So if you were to tell me that it was rated like a 7.1 or something, right? right? Then I would know that it drops the ball hard, probably when it comes to the ending twist. So... I think it is best to be left ignorant of the rating, so I do not know whether or not it may or may not have dropped the ball. I see, I see. Okay, yeah, I can do that for you. I mean, granted, it does mean we have to throw a very well-established bit in the podcast that we've been doing for ages that, you know... Oh, no! Yeah, because quite frankly, you know, the pe what people love in a good podcast are the bits that they can easily uh, remember and uh, <laughs> continue with. You can just fucking Google. <laughs> But, you know, because, like, uh, people don't like change. And when there's something missing, they're like, oh, no, they forgot my favorite part of the podcast. Although, I, if if your favorite part is a non-weeb guessing what other weebs think about an anime in terms of numbers, then I, I'm i sorry that we have failed you in terms of quality <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But fantastic. Well, Rem, I will keep you in the dark. 
uh, for those who want to look, go ahead and have a look. Uh, I will say that, uh, would you at least like to know how many users have voted on it? Uh, that information always just goes over my head, but you're free to mention it. All right. About uh, 825,000 uh, users have rated this anime. Oh, okay, okay. So it's a lot more. It's going to have a lot more balanced rating than some of the other shows we've covered. Yeah. So with that in mind, uh, I suppose my final question to you then, Rem, is there any chance you'd want to finish up another, watch another? Uh, uh yeah, I, I, w- I would like to to finish this anime. It, it, there's a mystery, and I want to know the answers. And what you really want to know is if another can break the curse of 2012 anime. Oh, it's a 2012? It was made in the dark times? It was. So the solution of the dark times is just do make a horror instead of like a fucking isekai for the 27th time. You know what? You might be correct. And I suppose we'll have to see when we come back to the show another time. God, it's too easy to make another jokes. Anyway... Thank you all so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. If you actually enjoyed Rem being positively optimistic about an anime, then please head on over to wherever you get your podcasts, whether that be Apple Podcasts, Podbean, Stitcher, Spotify, and leave us a review. It means the world to us, and we do read every single one. And if you'd like to support us even more directly, you can head on over to twitch.tv slash animeoutofcontext, where myself and Remington do occasionally play video games and talk about those video games and get angry at each other for beating each other at video games. But if that's not enough for you, you can head on over to patreon.com slash animeoutofcontext where you can gain access to all kinds of lovely bonus material, including having the opportunity to have your name read aloud on the podcast. And Remington, who are we thanking this uh, very spooky episode? Well, of course, we would like to send our regards to all of our bland bitch protagonists, as well as our magical girls who we really appreciate. But moving on, we get to our yandere waifu tier, who are, are taking their umbrellas and stabbing us right through the jugular but in the most loving way <laughs> and on that list we have xanax yandere neko walk me home gently vtubers ruined my youtube algorithm veiny jordan sundere dragon totally god this isn't a bitch on i really do want you to show me jinro the wolf brigade sticky jelly sorry mother slappity bappity cappity lappity nappity rappity zappity silent secondary sean wants to know if you got any of that time i was reincarnated as a sl- slime volume two white sword scards uh, Sammy Pritchard, Salty Pretzel, Sequoia Fay, Remington Merrill, Remy failed the name pronunciation test, ready to be isekai Uh, PSA to overcondensing info makes it useless. I tried to play the storytelling game. Rem gave me an episode 174. Tell HP in one minute. Sorry, I gave you a stroke. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> was able to get it before, before it changed. So, you know, familiarity. Uh, no waifu, no laifu. Navi, my favorite slice of life. Jose manga is now an anime. This fall, Senpai ga uzai kuhai no, no hanashi. Uh, Mike the Mutilator, Mayoi Hachikuji is best girl, Matthew Drum says Rem's a bitch, Makachop92, Luke Offenberger, Lonely Geek 23 locked in daddy Rem's basement, don't send help, oh god, god. first as fuck, Leo Nottage, Kazu Morocco, Joey Wheeler, hey yo, welcome to Femboy Hooters, Jax, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the Pirates don't eat the tourists, Ichigo Simp 15 I Remington Chase declare my love for Seto Kaiba in his big, huge briefcase. I'm the real Fresh Prince of Weep Shit. Remington, you are the king. Uh, <laughs> I, Remington, enjoy Moe Lolly Girls. Ooh. I believe in Taiga Isaka supremacy. I, aha, you thought this was another Green Day repeat, but it was me, Dio. Hunter Davies. Hey, hey, you, you. I don't like your waifu. No way, no way. I think you need a new one. Hey, hey, you, you. I could be your waifu. Oh, fuck. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, Hebrew time. Time to murder this again. Tagalisha at the Hochev Ati Shan from the real big Tony Doki Doki Shan is my husbando. Good job, says Misika. Uh, Glenn Michael Dolan, go see Bishi, character ASMR has ruined my life. Gate Duck, fuck of love, Fox and Boy. <sighs> Fern the dude, man. Farber Weeb wants to enjoy Wheeler. Hey, you, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Oh, dear. Uh, Fallen Ghoul, Dylan Hayden. Uh, dramatic T, huh? April Fools is right around the corner. Data type. Dark Swarm 713, Danny Morbido, Shy 900, Christian Moss, Cheese Monkey, Cage in the House, Broke Bitch, Broke Hard for G- Brock Hard for Geodudes, Autumn Gorley, Ariel Bird, Anime Aunt, oh lord, I just turned 26, someone send help, Andrew Rauke, Elise Howard, Alpha Weeb, AJ Honey, and Adam McLaughlin, thank you all so, so much. Uh, now we move on to our boy wizard tier, going over to Hogwarts, where everybody is going to get some, some magical witch slash wizard movies to watch over Halloween. Are um, these movies you're going to have actually seen, or are you just pulling up a random movie list? 
Are you telling me that having 22 best witch movies of all time from goodhousekeeping.com followed by 40 best witch movies from countryliving.com is not sufficient? <laughs> no, no, by mistake, you're fine. Go on. <laughs> You may say the barrel has fallen into the abyss. I, however, say it was made in the abyss. See, he gets it. Uh, you are, are going to get, uh, all right, this one looks weeby and uncanny as fuck. Earwig and the Witch. Sorry? It, I, uh, how I would describe it, right, is if, what is it? It's like illumination or whatever. Oh, God, yeah. If they, and Studio Ghibli had a cursed fucking baby. I just Googled it and you are fucking, hold it. There's a small girl with a broomstick and a black cat. That these bitches are ripping off uh, a Kiki's. What is it with people? Does it? It looks there's it. I don't like it. I don't like it. it. Anyway, it's yours to watch. Uh, oh God, thirty percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Warning, you have reached the bottom of the barrel. You are going to get. Oh, you're going to get a classic. Hocus Pocus for you. Have fun with that. Um. God, it's been. Sean, I have to admit that I watch Boku no Pico in my free time and I love it. Oh God. Um, you are going to get, you know, a little bit more obscure, but I'm sure it's great. I married a witch. Um, it's, it's some like rom-com. From 1942? No, it's from 1993. Oh God. Uh, hmm. I, I, I don't know. I don't have the answers. Uh, Sean, the Kisushitai, you are going to watch a Blair Witch Project get nice and spooky. Okay. Um, Pocket Gamer 513, you are going to watch the wildly beloved Twitches. Is that like... They're twin witches. Oh. It's Tia and Tamara. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you forgot about that. I just unlocked a lot of memories. Uh, Pocket Gamer, hope hope you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, P.I. Mayor, you are going to watch um, The Crucible. Oh, wow. Okay, you know? yeah, let, let, all yeah, right. Yeah, 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 go ahead, go on. Vaguely, vaguely historical slash literary for you. Yeah, what's in you a know? name after all? Uh, Pilkster, the Simfo Gear Advocate, you... Uh, uh, th for Halloween, are going to watch Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. Fuck, that's that's rough, buddy. I'm sorry. Which sounds abominable. Oh, it's bad. I, I watched in every my way. My stepfather uh, watched a few. Uh, watched it, and I caught like glimpses of it, and I'm like, mm, oh, this God. is bad. Uh, Seventeen percent on Rotten Tomatoes for that one. Ah, uh, Misrar, uh, you're you're getting a throwback. Um, you're getting Halloween Town. Good old Halloween Town. If you Google it, you will remember. But that's that's what you gotta watch, Ms. Yeah, no, I I remember Halloween Town. I'm just trying to remember, like in my in my young child brain, was that actually a good movie, or did my child brain just think it was a good movie? Almost certainly the latter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, MT the poet. You are, get to watch the witch or the vivich, depending on if if you interpret it as a W or two V's. Um, it's a solid movie. Solid movie. I still haven't seen um, it actually. I would recommend it. Uh, Momo the Griff, congrats, you're the weeb. You get to watch Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, nice. Miguel Delion, you get to watch uh, Roll Dolls the Witches. Oh, wow. Real solid there. Real solid choice. Um, Lord Flexinor, you are going to watch uh, Black Sunday. Nice nice and uh, ominous there, you know? Uh, KSOTW2, the Lazy GM's companion. Uh, I'm lazy, blah, blah. You know, you know what you wrote. You know, <laughs> I read it last time. Um, yeah, we're finally getting recommending... our back, so our patron reads are a little behind. Yeah, Lazy Jim's Companion, recommended for everyone. Give it a go. Um, you uh, are going to watch, um, I hope you like Vin Diesel, because you're watching The Last Witch Hunter. Oh, God. Uh, nope. Yep. No. Yep. I, I'm sorry, Vin Diesel. I don't care about your family hunting witches. That's not what I'm here for. <laughs> um, Justin Kessinger. You know, let's go back to weeby stuff. Uh, you get a, you get Mary and the Witch's Flower. Ah, uh, yes. The anime that we talked about with uh, Blake and Spencer, yet you still haven't seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was, I looked at it, I was like, look, it sounds familiar, but it doesn't look familiar. That that explains yeah. why. Uh, I live in Ogden, yes, that one. You just watched The Wizard of Oz, you know? We dissed Kansas, but, but here I we mean, are. I mean, it was original Wizard of Oz is a timeless film for a reason, you know? <laughs> uh, Hinata is a ball of sunshine. You get to watch The Craft, which I have never heard of, but it is on both of these lists. Oh, God. It looks like Mean Girls, but spooky? Mean Girls, but spooky. Hold on. By the way, Last Winter Under had an 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, 
Gen 2 plus 3 S tier, Calmilf, Badoom, Fladoof, Beladoof, Bidzor, Bidrachi, Abdoof, Water Eel Milf, Blazadoof, Bidvoir, The Lord. Um, you are going to get Suspiria, which I've yet to watch, but I have heard very good slash very pretentious things. Uh, so that can about go either it. way. Apparently the craft is a 57%, so it's way better than Vin Diesel's movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Enrique Perez Torres, you get the Witches of Eastwick, um, who a, a bunch of witches summon the devil, but it's their dream man. I mean... I don't know, dude. I don't have the answers for you. I, I don't either. Uh, oh, f the dream dedicated man is to Jack this. Nicholson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's my dream man. <laughs> um... Dedicated Sadist, you get Practical Magic starring Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Tw that, that That's all I got about that I one. I do. 22% so enjoy that on one. Rotten Tomatoes. Good luck. <laughs> uh, Dallas Leave Insanity, you get to watch Bewitched um, starring Will Ferrell. You know, lovely little rom-com there. Uh, but let, let's get spooky with Beta. Beta, we're, we're getting back to spooky with you. Um, you're going to watch uh, Rosemary's Baby. So ni nice and spooky there. Uh, Beethoven 1201, you are going to watch Eve's Bayou, 1997. Um, hmm, I, I question whether or not it handles themes of like, because it talks about voodoo spells. Oh, yeah. That... I, I question whether it handles that tactfully or well at all. But uh, <laughs> Beethoven, let, let, let us know. Surprisingly, uh, it's got an 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. So. Oh. Oh, maybe it does yeah. then. And last but not least, Aaron, the Hot Wheel movies are my favorite anime, Hegland. Uh, you like Hot Wheels, but do you like uh, just Teen Witch <laughs> from 1989? I'm so, glad there, we finished there, there you go. That's way, yeah. Okay, wait. This this one, uh, it emphasizes and it's unlocked this memory and features the best worst rap song of all time. Top that. I don't know if you've ever seen that, Sean, uh -huh. but I would like you to cue it up. Teen Witch, top that. Okay. All right. Here we go. And then, and then Dylan, you can just include his reaction at the at the very end. I'm gonna do this in incognito tab because I don't need my recommendations to be more fucked. All right, let's see. Oh god, this is violently this is violently late '80s, early '90s. Okay, that's not a wrap. Oh my Christ. Uh. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh god, and it, it, it just cuts away. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is. This is painfully white. This is... I... What? Oh... Oh, no. <laughs> you will never be hip! If you... <laughs> it's... It's just so good. I... Then, then she, she's, she's using magic. I think I've blocked this out of my memory. <laughs> oh, God, this is so... Oh, God, like, that... <laughs> it's just this is it, 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 it's a magical experience someone thought this was a good idea hold on hold on hold on what's what's rotten tomatoes on teen like i i need a cigarette or something jesus i feel violated uh 44 percent on rotten tomatoes so not great uh i think I, all 44 percent of that is for the rap uh is for the rap the saving grace i mm, i wouldn't call it that <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, so now we move on to our highest tier, Chef and Omusco tier, uh, Corey in the house, where I, I'm not just giving you guys movie recommendations, I'm going a step further, I'm giving you guys your Halloween costumes, either this year or next year, all uh, right? Uh, considering that this is going out the day before Halloween, I don't think that's very... Th Good luck prepping, you have one day. Uh, Zachary Shirley is open all eight inner gates and seven heavenly breaths, unless there's a revisit to Haikyuu. Uh, all right, so, you are going to get um you know you know what you, you're you're gonna go as you are going to go as aaron yeager and you have to you have to pretend that you're just the coolest person around like you have to be very over dramatic you have to take yourself very serious titan form or or angsty human form um angsty human form perfect very ang maximize that angst zach uh then we have silicon specter who um, I am just now seeing that this is a genuine costume that costs ninety dollars. Uh -huh. uh, Silk Inspector, you're going as Appa. What? From Avatar: The Last Airbender, you are going as Appa. It costs ninety dollars, a bit pricey, but it will be worth it. Good God, I love it's it's bad. It's rough. It's real dumb. It's real 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 bad. 
Uh, then. Oh god. Uh, yeah. It's like Pope a of the Church Kigurumi. of Remington Chase. Pope of the Church of Remington Chase. You are going to be. Um. Uh. You are going to be Junko from Danganronpa. Junko, but yeah. So. Uh. I'm. I'm. I'm so sorry. Good luck, fucker. Uh. Just a traveler. You are. You a little bit more complicated. You are all of the characters of Naruto. <laughs> Better fucking learn you Shadow Clones, bitch. <laughs> Just every character in one costume. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. Good luck. And last but not least, my dear old mom. Um, you know, just keep it nice and simple. Like, I don't know, like Velma from, from Scooby-Doo or something. What? There we go. All right. Just, just a nice, easy, non-cursed one. Uh, thank you, everyone, for, for tuning in. If you want to reach out, whether it's for a comic question, feedback, or recommendation, you can tweet us at AnimeConPod on Twitter, or send an email over onto AnimeOutOfContext at gmail.com. Once again, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. We love you very, very much, especially during the spooky times. And as always, don't fuck your sister. do 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 but spooky. <laughs> Also, Rem, do you want to see the most cursed ghost face animatronic I've ever seen in my goddamn life? Chucky's just a lolly. I feel like Dylan could be a very tender lover. You have, you have in my hands my, my bloody veiny dick. We used to be funny. <laughs> I'm here to fuck spoilers, Remington. <laughs> <laughs> Rem, do you want to see the most cursed penis I've ever seen in my goddamn life?